This tutorial is for the Cubify Sense 3 scanning software version 1.1. Now we highly recommend a newer computer with a fast processor, a video card, and as much RAM as possible as a scanner can really tax your system. We also highly recommend fully charging your battery as your system performance will also degrade as your charge depletes and your resultant scan quality will suffer. Now you'll first notice that if the Cubify Sense scanner is not plugged in, the software won't open for you. So once you've plugged in the device and your computer recognizes it, you'll be asked first what you would like to scan. You'll have the option of either selecting an object or a person. If you select an object, you'll be prompted to select which size object you would like to scan, either small, medium, or large. Today we'll be scanning a person, so if we start back by selecting a person, we have the option of scanning a head or a full body, and for our demonstration purposes we'll be scanning a head. Now on initial startup, I like to go up to the settings and set up my scan to my own preferences. This menu gives you the option of scanning in portrait or landscape mode, in low, medium, or high, and it also allows you to specify the size of the object. You can turn off and on your startup model select assistance, and you can turn off the object recognition. And then you have the option of turning off and on some of the scanning display states. Although it's not 100% confirmed, we tend to believe the less scanning options, the better the scanner performs and the less lag. With this being said, I personally like having the color and target ring left on, so I'm just going to deselect a frame rate. Finally, by selecting performance test, a recommended CPU, BPU setup will be determined, and you can then select OK and start your scan. You'll want your subject to remain still, and you can then move forward and backward until the image seems clear. Then slowly move around the subject, moving up and down so as to create a full capture. Once you have finished your scan, you can pause it and select next. If you have a mouse, you can view the shortcut keys by selecting the help screen by clicking the question mark in the upper right hand corner. If not, you can navigate by selecting the small bubbles on the side of the axis on the lower left. You then have the option to crop using a box selection method. Erase using a drag and sweep method. And finally, solidify your model. Once you have removed all unnecessary points and solidified your model, you may advance on to the next step. You can then trim any extra unwanted parts or smooth any imperfections. There is also an auto enhance feature Although we will be using ZBrush and MeshLab to clean our files, we will skip this section and move forward at this point. You can save the file to your desired location as either a polygon, a stereolithograph, or an object file. MeshLab can import all these file types, although ZBrush can only import STLs and OBJs. I personally prefer OBJs for use in ZBrush as they tend to include more detail.